Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've been exchanging emails with a friend of the channel about using MQTT on M5 stack in UIFlow. Now, while we were discussing this, I was thinking it would be really handy if I could get the IP address of my M5 stack core. I think I'm going to have to make custom blocks. Yeah, I want to see the IP address just like this. So we're going to create an M5B file using UIFlow BlockMaker. Look for the links in the description below. First, you need to create a namespace. This is where the blocks will reside. Okay, so I'm going to call my namespace IP address. So underneath custom blocks, there will be a section for IP address. And I'm going to name the first block IP address. You want to add this parameter, the label, that actually <laughs> labels IP address on the block itself. Now I did a little Google search for the MicroPython code that would get me the IP address information. And we're just going to copy that from here and paste it in here. Now, as you see me putting information in on the left panel, the code on the right panel actually updates. I realize this IF config is actually a list of several items, so I'm going to enclose it in a parentheses and put a bracket at the end here and say, let's get item zero, which will be the first item in this list, and it's going to give us the IP address. I found I had to zoom in and out in UI Flow BlockMaker because the buttons are at the bottom and I couldn't scroll down to get them. So now we're going to add another block. And this, of course, is going to be within the IP address namespace, but we're going to call this one subnet mask. And we're going to add the parameter, the label for the block. Let's go get our code, copy that, and paste that back in. And here we want the second item on the list, so we're going to enclose this with parentheses, put some brackets on the end, and specify item number one. Okay, so we have our second block created. Now here I'm thinking, yeah, those blocks, colored black is going to be kind of annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here, clicking on IP address. I want to change the color to green because the other Wi-Fi network stuff is green. There we go. So now my IP address blocks are going to be green. I'm zooming out so I can add another block. And we're going to give this block the name Default Gateway. Let's give our block a label. And we're going to want to go get that code again. And we'll enclose it with parentheses. And within the bracket, we're going to get the third item, or item number two, because we started at zero. And of course, you see the code has all updated automatically. So we have our namespace IP address with three blocks, the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. You might find this information useful in one of your UI flow programs for M5 stack. Now let's zoom out and we're going to download this M5B file. And it's got the name, IP address. That's very handy. Let's go back into UIFlow and under custom, we're going to open this M5B file. So now we go back down to custom and expand it. And you see our namespace, IP address, with our three blocks. IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. I'm going to drag these out into the program area. Now let's put some labels on the user interface. And we're going to justify these and distribute them across the screen here and get a little bigger font. Okay, our user interface is built now. 
So the first thing we need to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network. So we're going to go to hardware, network, and get the connect to Wi-Fi SSID block. And then we're going to want to check if we are connected. So we'll get the Wi-Fi is connected block. We'll go down into logic and get an if block. So if Wi-Fi is connected, do this. Now we go into the user interface and select our label. We want to show those values, the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. So I'm going to duplicate those to have three labels. Label 1, label 2. Okay, there's the default gateway, subnet mask, IP address. We're going to stack those up here. All right, we have our program. Let's look at the Python. What's cool is the code from our custom block is baked into the Python code here. So when we save this, there won't be anything missing. We don't have to have that other M5B file. It's just been interpreted into the code. Yes, if we want to use it again in a new program, we'll have to open the M5B file. But like I say, it's inherent within the program when I save it. So we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi SSID with this password here. Let's go ahead and refresh our connection with our M5 stack core. We're connected. Let's go ahead and send that program over to the M5 stack core. All right, so here it comes. And there you have it. That's the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway of that M5 stack core device. You might find this comes in handy. And of course, being able to create custom blocks is something that's going to come in handy as well. Literally any MicroPython or Python code that you can put in that code block. Make sure to look for the link in the description below to find this document. Give this video a like. Leave a comment, and before you go watch more of my M5 Stack videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.